Today's video is a little bit different. We are actually, so as you may or may not know, I graduated this year. I had one class left and I just finished it up. And instead of doing a graduation party, as I am not much of a party person, I had my parents left me the option to either A, just get the money right then and there that they would have spent on a party or B, take a trip to anywhere I wanted. Now, it was kind of a tough decision, but I felt like if I was given the money, I would have just probably, I don't know, I wouldn't have spent it for anything fun. It just would have been to save, which would have been great, obviously, but I feel like you know, you don't graduate every day and it's something that should be celebrated. So I chose the trip. So I, it did not take me long to figure out where I wanted to go at all. I have had my mind made up on this for a very, very long time. And <laughs> your girl is not a fan of cold weather. Yes, I know I live in the wrong climate. Um, so it obviously needed to be somewhere warm. And I have had this obsession with Texas for a very long time. I don't know what it is about Texas, but I just, I have to go there. I have to see it. I have to see it in real life. And I think it goes back to even as far as like listening to country music from gosh, the time I was like one, two years old. So I think it's just in my blood, in my system, and I need to see this state before I'm 18. <laughs> and my awesome, generous, amazing parents are granting me that wish, and I get to go to Texas. It is T minus, gosh, well, we leave tomorrow around one o'clock to head to the airport. So, um, I guess almost 24 hours, technically. I am not packed at all. And the house is not in the cleanest state. So, I think I'm going to start with uh, probably picking up the things in the house that are bothering me, uh, mainly the sink. I do not like when there is dirty dishes in the sink. It just ugh, grosses me out. So we're gonna take care of those. I need to clean our bathroom because my sister meant to the other day, but she got busy helping my dad outside with some other work. I also have to clean my guinea pig's cage, but that's gonna be tomorrow and probably off camera because I'll be rushing to try to get ready to leave. <laughs> and last but not least, I also have to, before I can pack, I need to fold my clothes from the week previous because I wanted to make sure that I have all of my clothing options available to me. Granted, um, it's still kind of winter-ish here. It's finally, spring is coming, but um, it's not warm enough to not wear long sleeves and pants. So I don't really have, I didn't really wear any t-shirts or shorts last week here, but I want to make sure that I still bring a couple long sleeves just in case, because you never know. And I'm sure their nights get chilly. I don't know. In my opinion, you can never be too overprepared. You can only be underprepared. So I would rather have many options available to me. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go turn on some music and let's get this show on the road.
a monster load. It probably took me every bit of 45 to 50 minutes to fold, but I'm gonna go put it away, and then I'm probably gonna put my clothes away. Some of them are my sister's, so I'll just set them on her dresser. And then after I put all of my clothes away, it is time to get packing. All right, here she is in all her glory. I love this suitcase. I got it for Christmas last year in hopes that one day I would get to use it. And today's the day. I've actually used it once before, but it was just for a road trip. So uh, I've never used it for flying because I have not flown since I was one and a half. Obviously, I don't remember that. So... In case you're wondering, I am going off of a list. I just printed that, so I should probably go grab it off the printer and I'll be right back. Here's my packing list. I uh, have seven nicer outfit, or seven outfits and then one nicer outfit on this list. I am actually going to a Randy Hauser concert at the Fort, we eh, Fort Worth Stockyards. So I would really like to pack a flannel for that. I feel like there's a couple events that I am probably going to end up packing more than seven outfits for just because I want to look cute and fit for the occasion. So I'm going to pull out what I know are musts. Like I already had that figured out. I'm going to bring it and then we'll get down to the other stuff. Alright, so for the first tops that I am just bringing, I don't really have a day or an occasion in mind, is this pink top, and then I have this green crop top that I absolutely love, and then I have a white tank top, you can't go wrong with these, it is a halter top, and then I have another green top, can you tell that green is like my new thing? <laughs> And then I have just a plain black crop top because you can't go wrong with that. And then I have some high-waisted jean shorts. I am going to be surviving off of one pair of shorts. Uh, wish me luck. <laughs> I'm just not in the mood to pull out my summer bin yet with like all my summer clothes because it's not summer here yet. So that is one, two, three, four, five outfits. I have seven on my list, but I'll be right back with more. All right, the other place we're going, and I am so excited for this, is to Magnolia, and then we're going to see some really good friends of ours who live down near Austin. So I am going to wear this when we're walking around Magnolia, because this is my one of my favorite outfits, and I hardly ever get to wear it here because it's too cold. So that is what I'm going to wear on, I believe that is a Saturday. And then we're also going to go horseback riding. So I don't know. I thought that might be kind of fun with a white tank top underneath. And then I also am going to bring this. And this top, I think, would work really well for the tulip festival that we're going to. So I believe that is one two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, eight tops. That's uh, not unbearable. And I'm going to bring this sweatshirt. Shout out to Superior Hardware for giving me this. All right, I have three PJs, and the reason being is because I wear the same t-shirt two nights to bed. I don't think that's overly gross. So I have three, three t-shirts and two shorts. That should be just plenty. I have eight underwear, a workout outfit because the place we're staying at has a gym and my sister Katie and I would like to uh, be the aesthetic girls in the morning. So I am bringing that. I need a swimsuit. All right, I'm bringing two swimsuits cause I'm not actually sure which one I'll wanna wear. The uh, bottom one here, the yellow one, does not have a strap. Like, it's just, um, oh gosh, why am I drawing a blank? It doesn't have any straps. So, 
I would, I'm not sure how I would feel about wearing this if we're like in a pool or something, just might slide down. So I'm bringing a more pool friendly swimsuit too. I'm bringing flip flops. They're not even open and I'm not going to open them because I have a phobia of like dirty shoes touching clothes. I think that's gross. And even though they're brand new, they fit in here quite nicely. So I'm just going to leave those in the bag. All right, I have eight socks and deodorant, super important. By the way, shout out to Schmitz. No, this is not sponsored, but this is the best deodorant, natural deodorant ever. And I am a robe girl, I love robes. So I'm gonna bring this one. And that's pretty much it for the closed portion. So I'm gonna put this stuff in my suitcase first. And then I'm going to move on to like all of my toiletries and jewelry, whatever else I'm going to bring that's kind of a little more awkward and needs to be in like packed in there in a specific way. So I'm going to start with all of this and then I will move on to that stuff. All right, I just ran back downstairs. I'm going to bring my white Adidas that are dirty anyways, so I guess... <laughs> These will count as my tennis shoes. I don't know, hopefully I don't regret this later. I'm gonna put them in a bag too, cause I just, you shoes in suitcases are not my favorite thing. All right, shoes go underneath in this compartment here. I'm gonna try to stick them on one side so they don't hog up too much space. And now I'm gonna put my clothes in. there we go there's the bulk of the stuff now we just gotta get all of the toiletries so my mom got me this really nice travel container thing because uh i did not know this because you know i've never really been on a plane but apparently you can only have things up to like 3.5 3.4 ounces or something so no liquids can be above the 3.4 3.5 ounce mark and I didn't have any little travel containers to transfer my shower stuff into so that is what we're going to do I'm going to transfer my shampoo and my conditioner and my body wash into these three and then for this one I'm not really sure yet I, maybe my face toner? Okay, so wait, because I just remembered I'd have to do all of my facial products too. So we're going to do, one of these for sure has to be shampoo and the other for sure has to be body wash. And then I'm going to do one of these as my face wash and the other one as my toner. I would rather have those than my new ones. And then I'm gonna actually scrounge around and see if I can find any more of these little guys. everything I think toothpaste included which was interesting I'm not gonna be the biggest fan of using that I think but oh well 
I seriously did not realize that every single liquid has to be in a three ounce thing. It's crazy to me. I'm just making sure my lotion fits. We actually have to grab more lotion when we're uh, nearby the airport. Okay, good. Shoo, it all fits in the quart sized bag. I had to look it up. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna put this bad boy in my suitcase. While we're over here, I'm gonna grab my hair products. I have my shaver and my little uh, makeup eraser pads. If you guys don't have these and your girl who wears makeup, you need these. They're just the makeup erasers. Oh my gosh, they work so well. And I mean, considering the price, like you're saving a lot of money on makeup removers. So definitely worth it. I'm just going to put a few scrunchies in here. I don't know what uh, color I'll be feeling. Also going to put my little travel kit, beauty kit, I guess. It's got like toe clippers and stuff in there. Okay, so I just added some floss picks. And I will probably put my retainer in here in the morning, but I'm obviously going to sleep with that in tonight, so this can also go in my suitcase. I'm going to grab a few of the makeup products that I know I won't use, so I probably won't wear this tomorrow morning. Actually, yeah, I'm going to wear that palette tomorrow morning, and I'll bring this one... And I'm going to need my foundation and stuff, so I guess I should leave that out. As far as makeup brushes go, I really just use a beauty blender. And my four basics right here. I'm going to pack my perfume. And my moisturizing stick. Love that thing. Um, where did it go? I have a lip stain in here somewhere. There it is. Lip tint. And chapstick. A brand new mascara. I'll pack my eyeliner in the morning. Q-tips, you can't have enough of these. I don't know what that is. And that's pretty much all I can pack for today. I gotta wait now. All right, guys, I'm going to go eat some lunch because I am starving. I have pretty much my suitcase for the most part packed. I... The rest of the stuff I have to wait till tomorrow, so it is what it is, right? Hoping and praying I didn't forget anything. I think I got it all other than the face lotion, which we have to pick up. We use the ITK by Brooklyn and Bailey, and I love it. Not sponsored, but it's a great product, and it works really well on my face. I was using the that prebiotic one. And that one um, wasn't working. It was like my face was still really dry. So I actually switched to the deep moisture rich cream one. And this one definitely was more suited to my facial needs, which apparently I have a dry face. So I use this in the morning and at night. And I go through an awful lot of it because <laughs> my skin is just really, really dry. And I'm almost out and this is my last one. So we're going to stop at Walmart tomorrow before we head to the airport. And my sister is also going to grab some face lotion and face wash because we were both running low. And that is probably about it for what I will film today. I'm going to focus on cleaning and just get everything that I have to get done done so that way I feel prepared and I will see you guys throughout the week.